This video is for educational purposes only. We shall not be held responsible for any misuse of the provided content. Let's create a UDP server. First, go to sshocean.com. I'll leave a link in the description for this website. Once there, go ahead and click on services and then select UDP custom. Now scroll down and select any of the provided servers. UDP is quite slow, so make sure you select a country that is closest to you so that you can get better internet speed. So let's just select a random one for this demonstration. I'm going to select United Kingdom, then scroll down. As you can see, our server is online and we have remaining accounts. If it says offline or there are no remaining accounts, go back and select another one. Now click on create account. Here, you're going to put any username of your choice and then put your password. Once done, click on create account. Oh, sorry. Seems like I've already created an account with this username. Let me use another one. Just like that, put your new username and password and then click on create account again. As you can see, now our UDP server was created successfully. Click on copy to HC, which means copy to HTTP custom. So after copying to HC, you will have something like this. Now you're going to go to your HTTP custom. Then you're going to clear everything over here. Now that everything has been cleared, you just have to copy this as it is. Just copy this one and paste it over here. After pasting everything over here, all you have to do is to select UTP Custom. Make sure UTP Custom is selected. Click on this plugin icon, then click on UTP Tweak Settings. Now you have to change the buffer size so for the buffer size, you're going to use this one over here. Just copy the numbers as they are. Just copy. And then you're going to replace these ones over here. So we're going to go ahead and replace this one. For the transfer and receive, you're going to put one. So put one on both sides, just like this. And then you're going to click on apply. After doing that, everything is all set. All you have to do is to click on connect and you will be connected. Simple as that. You don't have to click anything else. Just click on connect and your UTP server will be established. This won't be established in my case since I am using Wi-Fi and this is for educational purposes only. So I won't show you using my actual SIM so that YouTube won't remove this video. Anyways, that's how you can actually uh, configure UTP on HTTP custom. If you find this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss our upcoming videos. Until then, take care. Peace.